Nobel Prize in Chemistry awarded four simple yet ingenious discovery the pair were awarded the prize in Stockholm, Sweden on Wednesday, for the development of asymmetric organocatalysis. Their discoveries initiated a totally new way of thinking for how to put together chemical molecules said Pranilla Watungstaff Sheed, a member of the Chemistry Nobel Committee. This new toolbox is used widely today, for example in drug discovery, and in fine chemicals production, and is already benefiting humankind greatly Watungstaff Sheet added, German scientist List and US-based Scottish chemist Macmillan worked independently of each other, but share the prize, the third Nobel award to be handed out this week. This concept for catalysis is as simple as it is ingenious, and the fact is that many people have wondered why we didn't think of it earlier said Johann Akvist, chair of the Nobel Committee for Chemistry, the new catalysts have been used in a number of ways in the past two decades, including for creating new pharmaceuticals and building molecules that capture light in solar cells. The committee credited them with bringing the greatest benefit to humankind. I hope I live up to this recognition and continue discovering amazing things Liz told reporters after being announced as a winner Dr Liz said he was having a coffee with his wife when he got the call from the Nobel Committee. Sweden appears on my phone, and I look at her, she looks at me and I run out of the coffee shop to the street and, you know, that was amazing. It was very special. I will never forget he said. No women winners in science Nobels this is very fundamental chemistry broad with added. In its essence, it's about making molecules and it's about making them more efficiently, using less energy and without metals catalysts, which are problematic if they end up in pharmaceuticals. Tom Welton, president of the Royal Society of Chemistry, commended the pair on the award and said their findings have proven invaluable. Organocatalysis has made a huge impact across chemical synthesis. It has enabled us to develop new sustainable synthetic routes to important intermediates and products he said. It has also freed us from always relying on metals, that are often elements at risk, for our catalysts. Wednesday's award adds two further Nobel laureates. But for the second time in three years, no women were recognised in the scientific awards. We don't have any direct discussions with other committees about who wins the prize, but we do have discussions about how to support and increase women and it's also important to support geographic diversity said Claes Gustafsson, a professor in medical biochemistry at the University of Gothenburg and a member of the Royal Swedish Academy of Science. The prizes for literature and peace will be announced later this week, before the Economics Award concludes the annual festivities on Monday. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.